So in this video, I will show you how to install FSR 3.1.2 on Cyberpunk 2077 with DLSS frame generation on my GTX 1660 Super. And also, I am using the latest 2.13 update. YouTube told me that 95.5% of you haven't subscribed to my channel. I always upload these FSR slash frame gen videos. So if you learn anything or get anything from these videos, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Every like and each and every subscribe is a huge win for me. It motivates me to do more. So let's do this. Before you do anything, make sure you have a clean install of the game. If you previously installed any other upscaling or frame generation mods, make sure to remove every file. First open your game and set the upscaling method to off and turn off vsync and film grain too. After you have done that, you will find this file link in the video description. Download it, open it and extract to the desktop. For the frame generation, we will use DLSS enabler. So open DLSS enabler, accept, next, next. For the installation path, go to your cyberpunk install location and copy this path right here. Paste it here and hit next. For NVIDIA users, use this install as dxgi.dll option and install OptiScaler as 0.6. For AMD and Intel users, you need to tick this option and this reg file option along with NVIDIA options. For demonstration, I will choose this reg file option. OK and install. After installing, for AMD and Intel users, you need to run this disable NVIDIA signature checks registry file. After that, open the game to see if the game is working. When you go to graphics settings, now you can choose DLSS as the upscaler. And in the frame generation section, you can choose DLSS frame generation. We are going to use DLSS frame generation instead of FSR 3 frame generation. The game will ask you to restart the game. After restarting, you can see now I'm getting about 100 FPS. And yeah, the game is pretty smooth. As usual with cyberpunk frame generation, we have this ghosting issue with cars and bikes. You can see behind the car, at the bottom of the screen, there is some kind of ghosting. So let's fix the ghosting issue. Open this ghosting fix pack. To install these mods, you need to go to your main install location where the bin, engine, folders are located. When you extract files, there shouldn't be any files to replace. If there is, that means you have some mods installed before. And this may not work. Extract everything except ghosting fix files to the main game folder. After all that, you can extract ghosting fix files. Now you can open the game again. When you open the game after installing these mods, you will get this pop up. So in here, just click on Unbound and put some key that you don't use for the game. Press that same key to remove this menu. So when you first install Ghosting Fix, the game will take some time to load. Now you can see I don't have that ghosting issue. When you press the Insert key, you will get this menu. You can choose FSR 3.1.2 in here. It gives you more FPS than XESS or DLSS depending on your system. For me, it's 2-3 to three FPS more than XESS. So make changes in here. And when you are done, click this Save INI button to save changes. So you don't have to change these settings every time you open the game. The game feels smoother, but I can feel some input lag too. Mm. 
let's say you want to install reshade with frame generation mode let's try that too dlss enabler has a reshade support method to install but i tried it and it didn't work for me so let's try another way for that open cyberpunk exe file location reshade always installed as dxgi but we installed our frame generation as dxgi too so for this to work we need to move our frame generation dxgi to desktop until we install reshade i think you know how to install reshade if you are watching this far so i'm going to install these mods really fast after installing reshade when you go to the game location you can see there is a dxgi file that's the reshade dxgi file so what you want to do is rename reshade's dxgi file as d3d11.dll now you can move backed up dxgi to the game folder again after that you can open the game again now you can see in the top left corner the reshade is installed the game colors will be different because of the reshade mod and this is not a reshade mod showcase i just want to show you that this frame gen mod will work with reshade so yeah the reshade mod lowers the fps but i think the game looks good with the reshade mod so let's see if the ghosting is still here frame generation is still working i'm getting low fps because i think i'm recording when i'm not recording game feels a little bit smoother So without the frame generation mod and with these same reshade mods, I get around 40 to 50 FPS. So that's it. Until next video, adios amigos.